web scales of life. Why are we out of balance? What do we have to do? What did we do to cause this? I'll give you a little clue. Balance is a formal way to express our status quo, both as individuals and our species as a whole. Balance is multi-threaded like spider webs in trees, suspending us so gracefully when true balance is achieved. But all this strength is tempered by how fragile we become. Just one minor setback can undermine the sum. Just one rip in our perfect web can cause a massive strain. And in our haste to fix this, our repair efforts seem in vain. This web is all that keeps us from face planting on the floor. We never really feel this until life rocks us to the core. We scramble to rebuild our web, relying on trust to forge new bonds. So urgent is our purpose that we often get it wrong. We make new friends that ditch us or waste money on frivolous stuff, the result of which confounds us because it's never quite enough. You crave your old security clinging on to what has passed, making dodgy reconnects, none of which seem to last. Our web comes crashing down each time at bewildering breakneck speed, feeling ever broken, recoiling from the hurt that we've received. The walls go up around us, our web begins to bow. We cut off from our feelings, we just don't want to know. How can we forge connections if we do not let our feelings show? People come to view us as an outpost in the snow. We hope that other people will rescue us from our plight, extend a hand of friendship to join us in the fight. But it's like trying to make friends from an enclosure at a zoo, no matter how inventive, there's big barriers to break through. This status is now prolific, so many feel dismay. But it does not have to be like this, there is another way. If we are all unbalanced, that means our society is too. Millions of tiny webs in need of lots of glue. Our connections are in pieces, frayed ends to the breeze. Our souls all crying, help me, can someone help us please? Our desire for companionship overrides our thoughtful minds. We jump into new disasters that are brutal and unkind. We fail to see the real hope that stares us in the face. Because it is excitement our broken hearts tend to chase. Balance comes from deep within. We have all that we need. It's just life got so complex. It's our souls we need to feed. So you cannot trust in others, but you can trust in yourself. You can be the engineer of a fine new shiny web. Do what makes you feel alive with rare souls that you trust. Try to learn not suffer from past mistakes of misguided lust. Most of us are broken. There's no point trying to hide, for we are all still humans with a beating heart inside. Don't put up with the little things that plague your weary brain. Eradicate those nagging doubts. It's your energy they drain. We tell ourselves that we are fine, alone in towers, safe and snug, afraid to open up to love when we crave a massive hug. Let's not fall into the trap of thinking love is bad. Let's celebrate the good times from the past as well as joy we've yet to have. Indulge in all your passions, dance the night away, play music at high volumes, blow those old cobwebs away, drink a lot of water, cleanse your inner soul, go and walk in nature, do whatever makes you feel whole. Do things that you want to, make things that make you smile, even if they're silly or you've not done them for a while. Talk to old and cherished friends from days before your troubles. Ramble about the good times, laugh so much you're folded double. Get to know your family, learn stories from your past. Find your inner beauty and your happiness at last. Happiness is like a flower, it starts off as a seed and with kindly nurturing is destined to succeed. If we fix each tiny part, the whole machine will flourish. Life will become much brighter, all souls will feel more nourished. And trust that all our efforts will bring the balance that we need. Things that are most treasured are rarely achieved at great speed.